Yeah, thank you for the introduction. So Andrew Stubbs, um, whose team worked on this, can't be here unfortunately, so he asked me to present this. And of course, it uh, well, makes some sense. Uh, I've been working on the, for several years, have been working on the project that added OpenACC support with in NVIDIA PTX uh, offloading, and of course, the AMD GCN support now builds a lot of on, on that, at least in terms of the <coughs> OpenACC and OpenMP support. So uh, AMD GCN is AMD's GPU architecture. Um, each GPU contains a number of compute units in the order of 60. The most expensive cards have 64 compute units, and I guess for the uh, those uh, who have around 60s that four up to four compute units are defective after manufacturing, I guess. That's the reason. <laughs> That's why these are consumer cards. Um, right, then um, each of these compute units can run up to 40 wave fronts in um, AMD terminology that would correspond to an NVIDIA warp, if you're familiar with that, or in, in OpenACC that would map to a worker or an OpenMP a thread. Then um, each has a number of um, general purpose registers, scalar and vector registers, and depending on how um, many of these wave fronts you launch in, in your GPU kernels, you get a specific number of scalar and vector registers that, that you can use. <clears throat> and that you have to compile your code for. So that's different if maybe somebody's familiar with the NVIDIA PTX model, where there's a JIT compiler who deals with that stuff. In this AMD GCN offloading model, the actual GCC backend has to make these decisions and you have to specify which actual target hardware you're um, compiling for. <clears throat> okay, and then you have SIMD vectors, actual huge vectors if you compare that to common CPUs. Yeah, I, I will skip over some details here. Okay, so uh, GCC needs a backend to generate code, obviously. That backend is present in GCC 9 already, committed in January 2019. Um, it supports a single thread only, um, but that, that's just for running the GCC test suite to make sure that the general infrastructure works. And it supports the Fiji and Vega 10 um, GPUs. Uh, that's in GCC 9 branch. In mainline, there's also support for Vega uh, 20 devices. Then you need a backend, then you also always need some at least minimal C library for string functions, for math functions and that kind of stuff. Like we did in the NVIDIA PTX uh, port, um, also the AMD GCN guys ported newlib for that. And to um, deal with GCC's model of outputting assembly code, then you need an assembler and a linker to put that in, uh, to combine that in some binary form. And the AMD GCN port is actually using the LLVM7 assembler and linker for that. So there's no bin utils port or no handwritten thing that we have for NVIDIA PTX. Instead, they're using the LLVM assembler and linker. That was just a pragmatic decision, I guess, because it already existed there. Um, oh, forgot something here. <laughs> OpenMP and OpenACC support. So obviously, single-threaded execution is not very useful if you want to accelerate something. So OpenMP and OpenACC support currently exists on the OG9 development branch, which we use for the NVIDIA PTX development. Um, which means that the offload toolchain is unified and the development is unified. Um, these patches got committed there just recently after living in an internal development branch before. <clears throat> right, and it supports OpenMP 4.5 to some extent and OpenACC 2.6. Um, I guess matching what we do for NVIDIA PTX again. Right. And next steps, what the team intends to work on are performance improvements to enable more wavefronts being used. 
and um, uh, review the overhead of OpenMP offloading because a, a lot of execution time apparently there is spent in the libgomp in the runtime library before you actually get to run your user code in parallel. <clears throat> um, right, and Andrew told me, especially if you use a lot, a lot of Teams work groups, that is noticeable overhead and there are some global locks and stuff like that that you want to avoid in these kind of computations. And of course, do some ABI changes to better use the general purpose registers and these kind of things make better use of the GPU hardware. Then the question, when will this be available upstream? So, as mentioned, the backend is upstream already, but that's not something a user <laughs> can make much use of. The uh, um, OpenACC patches are a number of them that um, have to be polished before they can get into um, GCC trunk. OpenMP has fewer dependencies, so that may actually go, go in for GCC 10, maybe. So that was Andrew's prediction that this might work out and the OpenACC stuff may be for GCC 10 or for GCC 11 otherwise. Right, that's that. And then uh, if you want to try that stuff, there's actually a binary release um, of our Sorcery Codebench Lite that includes the compiler configured for OpenMP and OpenACC offloading. Um, which you can get at this address here. And the um, 19.05 release support is built on GCC 8, supports Fiji and Vega 10. And the 19.11 release will also support the Vega 20 AMD GPUs, much improved performance and is based on GCC 9. Right, that's it. I guess we don't have much time for questions and I'm not sure if I would be able to answer them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but if somebody has a question. Jakub. Was the state uh, about kernel drivers for this? Do you need some out of three kernel driver right now, or is it upstreamed already? As far as I know, <laughs> um, you don't need special kernel drivers. I may be wrong. Uh, what you do need is some um, packages to, to talk to the kernel. So um, there are some intermediate libraries. Um, yeah, these are available in public in, in source code form as far as I know. Yeah, but you would have to ask Andrew. Okay, then finished in time, I guess. Thank you.